Hey, I'm Karen and I created a video introducing you to the decimal format class, showing you when to use it and how to implement it. What is decimal format and why do I need to use it? Decimal format can be useful if your value is or may be an irrational number. Pi is an example of an irrational number because the decimal or remainder of pi continues infinitely. Decimal format also comes in useful if your code is calculating currency because you can set it to always display two digits after the decimal. Let's look at our sample code where the decimal format class is not implemented. We'll start off by typing import java.util.scanner Go ahead and name our example public class decimal format example begin our main public static void main string args inside my main I'm going to declare a double variable named total we're going to set total equal to 97.65 divided by 2.77 and then we're going to print out the value of total go ahead and compile it run it and there is our long, messy, non-formatted decimal answer. Now that we know how decimal format is useful, how do we code it? First, you need to implement the decimal format class. To do so, use the statement import java.text.decimalformat. Next, within your code, you'll want to declare a decimal format object. This object will be used later on when it's time to print out your formatted text. Your code will look something like what's displayed. Decimal format example equals new decimal format pattern. So what does pattern mean? For your decimal format argument, you can specify how you want your decimal number displayed. The pound sign can be used to replace any existing number, or you can use a zero that will replace any existing numbers or else display a zero. Other symbols such as dollar signs, commas, or percent signs can also be added. So what next after you declare your decimal format object? Next, you need to print out the formatted text. You use your decimal object name to call the format method as shown in system.out.println example.format total. Let's use our previous example to implement the decimal format class. Import java.text.decimalformat. Do you need to be careful with the capitalization of decimal format? It is case sensitive. Inside my main, I'm going to declare my decimal format object. Decimal format. I'll name mine my format equals new decimal format. You need to use quotes inside the parentheses, and here you declare um, the way you'd like your decimal formatting. I'm going to use the dollar sign for this example to indicate that total is a money variable. I'm using a comma to separate the thousands place when necessary. <clears throat> the pound signs will be replaced by any existing number. After my decimal, I'm putting .00. .00. That way the zero zero will display even if there's no remainder. Now inside my print statement, I'm going to say my format dot format total. Let's go ahead and compile it. Run it. And there's our formatted output. Now you have all the information you need to successfully implement the decimal format class. Good luck.